I didn't even drop it. First thing real quick is I just want to remind everybody, and thanks for reminding me, Rayland, that next month we've got a super exciting guest coming all the way from Hawaii. Some of you may know him, some of you are about to know him. Big sexy, Holly Wonder, Kali Lave. So I guess in a, if you've never met Big T or seen him on Facebook, it's very, very relevant for me to see a 280 pound bald Samoan that looks like he could just squash you, he could squash me, <laughs> having massive success in skincare. Okay, so I just wanted to get that out there and I believe it is going to be January 10th. Okay, so start promoting that to your teams, make sure you're here, but more importantly, make sure the people that you love and care about are here also. Because he's coming a heck of a long way to see us. And at the end of the day, he's just a ton of fun. So, where's the... Hey, Mike. Mike. Thank you. So by now, you know, you both of you have got to hear my story, but you know, I also just learned today before the event that there are people that drive a heck of a long way to come to Kansas City to this event. I, mean, I met one lady came all the way, comes, not just came, comes regularly all the way from Nebraska, met another one that drove all the way from Dodge City. Give those people a hand. Do you think they're serious about building their business? And if I'm missing someone, I apologize. I just haven't, but just know that people drive a long way to hear this information because they do want to build their business and they, they're, they're interested in getting that information on what to take home on how to do it. So just a little bit about my background. Um, Again, most of you have heard the story, so not to bore you, but for those who haven't, I feel it is it is relevant. My background is housing. It's definitely not skincare. Um, never in a million years did I think that, uh, you know, when the housing market took a dip, the skincare was going to be that savior that, you know, rescued me, my wife, and my three kids. But as luck would have it, it did. Um, so it started in May of 2012, you know. I mean, I was kind of a, a very unhappy guy. You can see today I live a little bit differently. I'm happy. I mean... Who walks around in a sweater like this that's not happy? <laughs> okay, so just a kind of background story on this. I'm really not this creative, but I have a 10 year old daughter who is, okay? So we got the ugly sweater kit. My wife thought it would be hilarious to bring it home because I had a ton of fun making the gingerbread houses with my kids. She's like, you're gonna kill this sweater. I'm like, okay, so my 10 year old daughter, she helped me do the front. My nine year old guy, not to be outdone, okay? He said, Dad, i got to put this on the back. So we, we got it all figured out. We worked out the kinks and made it happen. So, But you got to understand, that's their contribution to Mom and Dad's business, okay? Because we did this business for our children with our children, okay? But so for them, that was, their, that was like their attachment to Mom and Dad's business, to Mom and Dad's happiness in this happiness movement that we've all attached ourselves to. So with that... Um, Gosh, I wish they were here. I'm going to start asking them just to come stand up here with me and do these presentations. It makes a lot better effect when I tell these stories. I am actually just going to kind of jump into the information. I, I know, um, you know, we run 10 to 2, and it is really hard to piggyback coming in and closing out a regional that Mike and Raylan Whitney did. Did they not do an awesome job? So they kind of touched on it a little bit about the weird pool story, but I will tell you, who would have known in two years that you would just meet a complete stranger at a swimming pool in Las Vegas, start sharing your hopes, your dreams, your intentions, stories about your kids together. I mean, I was kind of in a place with my oldest son, great kid, but I had some challenges. Well, she shared with me that she had a son, so she was kind of coaching me through that. She said, hey, let's stay in touch. I said, I would really like that. Little did I know that just three or four days later, after getting back from that Narium event in Las Vegas, I was going to get a friend request from her. Not only that, I got an inbox message, how did your son end up in what, I can't even remember what it was, I think I got a, a bad grade on a test, or I was getting some lip from him, or whatever it was, she remembered. And she followed up with me, I'm not in her group, she's not in my group, business-wise, but we became friends, okay? 
So that meant the world to me. So I knew right then and there, it was just another validation for me that I chose the right company because of the associations and the friends I was making. So, I mean, that's kind of how our relationship began was that day. And, uh, you know, then I got to meet her beefcake husband. <laughs> you embarrass me, I can embarrass you. So, but it, it, the, here's, here was the coolest part of this. this that story that you guys saw Raylan share um, in St. Louis I mean, hey, if you're not a crier, you will be when you get involved with Nary, or when you start building it. Because I sat in that crowd watching that, it's as if she was telling my wife and I story. My attachment to that story was so strong. So the associations that you make in a business like this, you might have got in for the money, but that's definitely not what's going to keep you here. And that was told to me when I got involved, but I didn't really get it until I met some people like this. So, I mean, I tell everybody, we kind of grew up in Nary together. That sounds silly to say, as though we've only been in two and a half years, company's only three years old, but I mean, we have a friendship and bond that will go on and last for years and years and years to come with a legacy that we both know we're going to leave our children. So with that being said, enough about me, I'm going to kind of get myself out of the way and dive into the information. Okay, we're going to engage in social media. So, prior to Nerium, I was kind of a social media introvert. I mean, I got on there and I kind of watched other people, which sounds strange, but I didn't really know how that would impact a business. I soon learned by posting before and after pictures, um, these amazing banners that the company already has put in place for us as you rank in vans, cars, uh, pictures of cars, that uh, people were actually going to be attracted to that and start asking you questions about your business. So, I'm not saying to solely rely on social media to build your business, but definitely bring that in as part of it. I mean, Jeff Olson all teaches us. He teaches that this is belly to belly, this is relationship, but in today's world, just know that social media has had a huge impact on my business, and I don't even really know how to use it right. Sometimes I feel like maybe I do too much as far as the Narium stuff, so I kind of had to slow down, take a step back, remember, these are your friends, don't be weird, okay? Put pictures of your family on there and just uh, really have a good time with social media. But just know that, you know, this has been an integral part of, I would say, just about anybody who has had uh, success with the company um, has had something to do with social media. So definitely take part in that. Nary Edge. So thank goodness that when we got started, we didn't have to go out and have a website designed. Because I would not have known where to start. That was definitely not my background. But when we got started, thank goodness we had this website that launched instantly. And we could plug into it and we could start sharing it with people so that we did not have to be the professional in skincare. Because honestly, guys, my background was mobile homes. Was anybody seriously going to take me serious? Was anybody going to take me serious when I came to skincare? The answer to that is no. Okay? But what I could do is I could just direct them to my web start and start sharing these tools with them uh, to help get our business going. So when we were looking at this business the first time, of course, I mean, the background of my story is when my wife shared this with me, I mean, the flailing of the arms, uh, you guys have heard me say this, but my initial reaction was no. But I did, I did want to have a business with my wife. It just so happened that the business that she wanted was going to cost three or $400,000, and I was fresh out of that. <laughs> So I was looking for something that was going to be low in overhead. This, an this was the answer to that, guys. If you want to be in business with no overhead, this isn't normal, okay? So if you're looking at this for the first time, or like our, our friend Lucy, if you just got started and, and you're really trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together, please understand that this is not normal. So basically, every time that we bring in a customer or a brand partner, the company is going to reward us with free product. So I know there's a lot of people in this room that have earned a lot more bottles than my wife and I have, but I do remember a specific month, not long after we got started, like 20 or 30 bottles show up in this great big box and all we pay is the shipping on it. So we were told, well, we asked, what do we do with these bottles? Do we, do we sell them? Do we, I mean, do we use them? What do we do? They said, those are your little employees. Get them back out there to people that you know and love that you want to share their name with. And that's how we built our business, by sharing a product that we believed in sharing pictures that showed results. Roadmap to Alexa. So everybody, 
thinks that, and I thought when I got involved, I was seeing the people up front speaking, and I was thinking to myself, I've got to get with that person after this event because I've got to ask them what their secret was. You know, for me, everything had a catch. I mean, it, unfortunately, that's just where my mind was previously to Narium. I thought every, there was, a, there was a, a hiccup or a glitch attached to everything. So I just had to find out one little secret that really probably got them to national marketing director. And every single one of them looked at me and said, roadmap to Lexus. So at the time, that really didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But now that we've been involved with the company a little over two and a half years, people, I get the question a lot. Like, Lance, what do you do? Like, like, well, I get up in the morning, I get my kids to school, I go work out at the gym, and then I help the next person who's running for their Lexus go out there and really get it. They're like, so you just do that over and over and over again? I'm like, absolutely, that's all I do. That's where, that's where Megan and I live, is in helping people run for their Lexus. So we're basically just going to show you what that looks like. So just like in anything, whether it be a sport, a business, a new venture, a new hobby, whatever it is, you've always got to have that first benchmark that you're really going for, okay? So like, I just got started, I'm excited, now what? Okay, so we have a benchmark put in front of you to say, hey look, let's run for this. And that's going to be the fast start qualify. So basically what that looks like is you just getting started, going out and finding three people that saw what you saw, that are into having just a little bit more out of life and getting started with you. But that means at this point, you're, start, you're going to start earning an additional one of the 13 ways that we get paid that I honestly still can't even tell you the 13 different ways that we get paid. Uh, if I can do this, you guys can do this. <laughs> so you're going to go out and you're going to find your first three people and they're going to say, well, what do we do now? What's, a, what's our first task? What's our first goal? Well, I'm going to help you go out and find your first three people. And the company's going to turn around. They're going to reward you with a free, free iPad. Now, guys, I want to be very transparent with you. I had an iPad, but what, here's what the iPad meant for me, okay? Because when I got started, I was kind of one foot in, one foot out. Like, I was really excited, but I was still kind of skeptical. I really still didn't get it yet. I hadn't found my belief. The iPad was the thing that took me over the edge of getting my belief. The company of Narium actually sent me a free iPad, never been used, no scratches on it, no kids smudges on it like my iPad had. So for me, I even checked my bank account. I didn't pay for that, okay? At that point, that iPad validated for me that what I had joined was a good thing, okay? It validated for me that if we earned our iPad and showed a lot of people to do the exact same thing, that we could go on to maybe have a career out of this thing. Who knows? So I, I tell everybody, I mean, when you earn that iPad, what are your three people that you brought into the business when they see you posting your selfies with your iPad on Facebook? What are they going to want? That's all they know. They know, okay, now I go for my iPad. You turn around and help those three people earn their iPad, guys, your Lexus is qualified. That's it. That's it. Okay, see, people are like, when I'm talking to them on the phone, or like Mike did a great job of explaining uh, a three-way call, when, uh, when, they're, when they're approached, they hear about the Lexus. They're like, well, how do you do that? I'm like, well, you know, we can kind of take you down that road, but basically, here's what it looks like. They're like, well, that's it? I'm like... That's literally it. So here's what happens. And then I go on to explain to them that our CEO is a true visionary. I mean, for those of you who just haven't been around the company a very long time, please know that when I got involved, I really checked out this Jeff Olson guy. What I went on to find out is that the band is, I mean, every once in a while, a true visionary just comes along, whether it be a Henry Ford, um, a JFK, or whoever, I consider Jeff Olson to be in that category. See, what he did was the car bonus, was he's, he's been in direct sales for years and years and years. But what he saw was all these companies doing it the wrong way, in his opinion. He said, they take this car program and they put it so far out there that it's just so unattainable for the average person to go out and get. He said, I think that's bogus and I think that's a game. People spend a lot of money on their product. People's inventory qualify themselves to go out and get this car. He's like, that's a game. I don't like games. So what he did, he goes, I'm going to take our car bonus and I'm going to put it in the early levels of leadership. He said, I actually want to see people driving the car. So that, you know, so for me, again, another validation, that's a clue, guys, that we're part of a good company. 
So when we literally were able to go out there and help three people get their iPads, and we got the email that we had earned our Lexus. I did, I, my back was turned. Raise your hand if you have earned your Lexus in the room. I'm not very good at math, but that's probably a third of the rooms earned their Lexus. That's a big deal, guys. So the numbers are kind of getting thrown out there right now. That in just three years of business, there's an approximately 8,000 Lexus earners in the United States. That is a big deal, guys. That's something to get excited about. People are seeing that it's able to happen, okay? People are getting their Lexus. It's becoming an amazing branding tool. My wife and I were, um, we were in a restaurant, and we were actually doing a sit down. We were meeting somebody, uh, one of our friends, that was interested in, in Narin. It just so happened that we just picked up our Lexus, so we had it sitting right outside, okay? It had our, our special license plate, what, a Ford Narium, I think is what we put on ours. And um, for whatever reason, our friend didn't see it the way that we saw it. But here's the interesting thing. The lady that was sitting in the booth behind us, she kind of, I could see her kind of doing, doing one of those things. And when we got a police, she goes, excuse me. She goes, I do not mean to be rude, but I was over listening, you and your wife, uh, talk with your friend about, she goes, did you guys really get that Lexus for free? And is it, is it really through a skincare company? I said, well, yeah. I said, absolutely. She said, I want some information on that. She loved skincare. She loved Lexuses. So we shared the information with her. We had to sit down with her and she joined our business. I mean, so I guess the point, hey guys, there are thousands and thousands of stories like that throughout the company. But just know the reason Jeff wanted, and I'm spending some time on this because it's important, and it took a while for it to make sense to me. The reason Jeff wanted people driving the cars, what better marketing tool is there than, I mean, guys, I'm going to tell you, I never believed in a million years with the skeptical background that my mind frame was that I could be driving a Lexus that somebody else paid for, okay? So I'm just telling you, it's, it's, it's the benchmark for this business. When you get to the senior director, which is the Lexus level, I could probably spend, and I know we don't have time to, but I could probably spend an hour just on David Bird himself. This is a guy who has led major, major uh, Fortune 500 organizations, not only in the United States, but around the world. He's been an executive coach to these companies. When he's decided to hang it up and say, basically, I'm done, Jeff Olson called him and said, no, you're not. I want you to come over here with me. And I want you to be basically a business coach, a life coach to, uh, to so many. So David Berg has come on these calls and, and help us plan out our lives, uh, not only our businesses, but he understands that there's a balance. So that was something that uh, for me was important because I have a tendency to get a little carried away with things. So I would live way too far into my business and not enough in my life. And he's basically helped me uh, plan out my day before my day begins and to help me move through that. It's a leadership call, guys. I mean, you're getting nuggets on this call from people like Mark Smith, um, other national marketing directors, three-star, five-star national marketing directors that you don't typically get on your typical Sunday night call or Tuesday afternoon call. I mean, they are speaking at a pretty high level. So I really look forward to, to that call on Thursdays where I'm actually able to sit down there, take my notes, and help implement that into my business. Roadmap to NMD. So, we talked about kind of what the roadmap to Lexus looked like. So, basically, in a nutshell, if you can see here by the slide, your roadmap to NMD is basically turning around and helping 15 people, five in each leg, make a run for their Lexus. When you've got, when you've accomplished that, guys, you're NMD. Now, this is just one example of, of what that looks like, but I'm here to tell you, if you can just live in that roadmap to Lexus over and over and over and over, not only for yourself, but turning back around and helping as many people, like the tree, you're able to turn around and help as many people run for their Lexus as possible. That's where you start making some serious money. That's where you're able to start having options in life. That's where you're able to actually, like Mike said, fire your boss. Um, I mean, I will tell you, you know, my story is, we got involved with Nary, but guys, I was, I wasn't hair on fire, I was ignorance on fire. I had no idea what to do, but I was so excited that it just, I, I reeked of it. It was just coming out of my pores. I mean, it was, everything about me had changed. So, as my luck would have it, everybody in my workplace started seeing that change in Lance. Everybody in my workplace started seeing, well, Lance isn't just like grinding us anymore. Like, this guy's coming in happy. 
you know? And when that clock turns five, he is burning rubber out the parking lot. Well, I was burning rubber out the parking lot to get to a market party, or to go do a real results party, or to go help one of my friends succeed in this business. Didn't take long for my boss to start figuring that out. Facebook wasn't a friend of mine, unfortunately. <laughs> we go to San Diego, people are posting, I'm just ear to ear smile. People start posting pictures of us at all these Narium events. So unfortunately, I was sat down three times to be let go by my boss. Okay? How I got out of it, I'll never know. I just kind of weaseled my way out of it, lied about it, said I'm just supporting my wife, this is her thing. But, um, you know, when I was able to help that many people get to their Lexus, which in turn earned, not me, but earned my family a $50,000 live better bonus, I was able to fire my boss. And that's all that it takes, guys. And my... In my previous career of running a, a sales team, which, thank goodness I don't have to do that anymore, because I like Mike, I, I despise sales. Every time that I intentionally help my sales guys, I mean, I was really the only person that really won. I mean, they went out, they did the work, they were doing this. Actually, the only person that really won was my boss. I was running his business 60 hours a week, telling his guys, my guys, what to do, and he was out playing golf eight days a week, right? So what I found when we came over here, that I was actually able to turn around and help people. Help people, not be their boss, not uh, tell them what they have to do. People were actually raising their hands saying, hey, I wanna run for my Lexus, can you show me what to do? Can you show me what that looks like? I'm like, absolutely. So it was by of no invention of my own, it was the things that I plugged into and learned. It was the things that my upline support team had shown me. So just know that if you're looking at this as a guest today, um, or if you just got started as a brand new brand partner, don't feel like you've got to come over here and reinvent the wheel. Because I was one of my major fears uh, as when, when I got involved. I was going to have to come over here and, 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 and make this happen. I had to learn how to get out of my own, my wife, I'm sorry, had to show me how to get out of my own way. And... Uh, Megan should be here any minute. She, she, you guys, to know my wife, know that she has no problem showing somebody how to get out of their own way. <laughs> she had to do that with me. I had a hard, hard, hard time learning that. I was able to get out of my own way and get, plug into a system that has already worked for so many people. And I was able to turn around and teach people that system, show people that system, but more importantly, become dependent on the system. And that has how you really start plug, pumping out some Lexus in your, in your organization. I mean, I am proud to say... In, in, in our group, we just broke our 50th Lexus earner in our organization. My team, our team, our family saw the importance of living in this roadmap to Lexus, okay? It wasn't anything Lance and Megan did. They saw us do it, believed it can happen, so they wanted it for themselves. We showed them what we did, so on and so forth, and that duplicated down 45 levels away from me. Okay, we do, people are earning their Lexuses that we don't know. That is crazy, guys. When I'm meeting somebody for the first time because they just earned their Lexus and they're in my group, that's nuts. But that's how these things go. Okay, so can you guys tell I'm pretty passionate about the Lexus? <laughs> it's the benchmark, guys. It truly is the benchmark of what we do on the business side of things. 90 day rhythm. So I tell everybody when you know. If this is something that you were looking at as a vehicle to get out of whatever situation, situation you're in or to rise yourself above whatever you don't want to be in anymore, I understand it's going to take time. Um, thank goodness, even, my, even I was sharp enough and, and realistic enough to know that I wasn't going to get into this deal and make five, ten grand just within a few months. Um, so here's what I share with everybody when they get started. When you get started, this is a new business. It is going to take time to build. So here's where you're going to earn 99% of your income is in your weekly checks. Okay, and I don't have to read this, the slides to you guys. I'm a bad slide reader. But just know that your third, first three to four months may be shorter, may be longer, depending on how hard you run. That's where your money's going to come from. Okay? But just know that down the road, just kind of like the slide that Ray Land was talking about, 10% time, 90% money, just know that down the road, that's going to do a complete 180. So basically what that looks like is, I got a phone call, uh, and I take that back. I made the phone call to my upline support team, I think my second month in the business. I was like, hey, I just got you know, a residual check. 
They're smaller than my weekly checks. Is that normal? He's like, yes, that is absolutely normal. You're on track for success. I'm like, okay, so, um, but I got into this business to make a residual check, right? They're like, absolutely. You are fueling your weekly checks with the activities of bringing in customers, bringing in brand partners, helping your team do the same thing, teaching your team to do the same thing and helping them to do the same thing. Because over time, that will fuel your back-end residual check. So basically, two and a half years later, I can say that 95% of my income today comes out of that back-end residual check, okay? So, um, you know, and I feel like I'm, I'm really trying, you know, here in Kansas City, being in a brand new place, meeting new people, uh, building a new team. I, I'm really passionate about building my own weekly check again and helping my team do the same thing. Because I know that without those weekly checks, it's not going to build a back end of anything. Okay, so we're, that's where we live. Wednesday to Wednesday are, are our pay periods, and we are teaching our people the same thing. Let's get customers in, let's get brand partners in, and let's teach them to do the same thing. The Narium Weekly Rhythm. So, I just kind of touched on that. I mean, our pay periods, what I meant by our closed periods, our pay periods are from Wednesday to Wednesday. Updated promotion. So here's some new slides that uh, that have been added. So our blitz packs. I have a lot of people ask. I had a phone call from a lady um, out of my group yesterday on the East Coast, and she asked, um, "Hey, look," <laughs> she said, "I'm going to be real transparent with you. I got involved with this company, and I feel like I've really screwed up." And I said, "Well, what did you do? Did you like yell at somebody?" She's like, "No." She said, "I gave my bottles out." And I thought that those were the samples. I never picked them back up from them. I said, okay. I said, this is not the end of the world. I said, uh, because she thought that it was and she was ready just to be done. She said, I've really messed this up. And I've ta it's taken me the courage all day long to make this phone call to you. And she started to cry. Which in turn made me start crying. <laughs> but I had to rise above that because I had to help this person. Okay, this wasn't about me. This was definitely about her. She got started because she saw something that was going to change her life. Unfortunately, she didn't take direction in the beginning to get plugged into the system to take the time to learn how to pass out the bottles properly. So basically I said, she goes, what are my options? I said, well, you got a tough road to hoe without product. She said, so I go, your two options are buy product or don't. I said, you know, I, I, I'm... Um, I don't know how else to say that to you, but as your part of your success team, I've got to be very transparent with you. I said, she goes, well, um, how do I do that? I said, let tell you what. I said, uh, I know some other people on my team that are needing some day cream also. I'm going to make a phone call to them. And um, I think between the three of you, if you guys went in together, that night cream was, was ours. You're going to have some product. She got so excited about that. I helped her solve a problem. So I said, so you're going to get some bottles out of this. I want you to listen to a couple of calls that we, we recorded on what to do and what to say. And you're going to start earning free inventory from this day forward, right? So this Blitz Pack, guys, it may sound redundant to you all. It may just be another slide to you. Or you may say, I get a lot of free inventory. I don't need it. This Blitz Pack changed that, that lady's life. I mean, she was ready to be done. But now she's seen this as a vehicle to get her back into business and to keep building. So blitz packs are a big deal. And this is what we're talking about with, uh, with the night cream. So our U.S. blitz packs, and now we've got our Canadian blitz packs. Um, basically what that looks like is you're getting five bottles of AD uh, for 500 bucks. Five bottles of uh, day cream. Five bottles of night cream and the day cream for $500. The same is going to go for Canada with our international product line of Optimera. Blitz packs for the firm. So, um, you guys remember when the Narium firm came out? How excited, how much hype, and how much anticipation there was for this product coming out and we're in St. Louis? Everybody remembers that, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I remember it very well because that was a day that I absolutely got my rear end handed to me by my wife. We were in St. Louis at National Conference and they launched it. And I said, honey, we, we, you know, we're busy, we're working our team here. I'll, I'll, buy the, I'll buy it when I get back. I'll order it when we get home. Well, little did I know, that 360,000 bottles would be sold in the first 24 hours. So I missed that window. Not only did I miss the first window, but the second shipment was sold out before we actually made it back home to, to Springfield at the time. So just know the Blitzpacks, that was kind of my, my 
aha moment of when they come out with a new product, take action. It's not going to be there. When they say this will sell out, they mean it. This is not a hype company. If anything, they're the opposite. Thank goodness. So uh, blitz packs of uh, Narium Firm, you get nine tubes of the Narium Firm for $500. New ADOs. So just know, guys, we're really lucky right now. I mean, I know you're going to hear a lot of people like Raylan and Mike and myself talk about, well, when we got started, like it was really a long time ago, right? <laughs> the good old days. Back in the good old days. <laughs> but I'm going to say it anyways. When we got started, we didn't have day cream. We didn't have night cream. We had one ADO. You had the night cream is all you could get. So when they're adding these things, just know that they are added with intent. People are getting started with this Narium firm, and Raylan kind of made a, a joke about it, but everybody uses different amounts, and I won't go down the road that she went down. I wouldn't get away with it. But just know that everybody uses different amounts. So, I mean, I know uh, several people who one tube is not going to last them a month. So thank goodness they added a new auto, uh, auto shipment of just the two bottles. Chip a combo pack. So... <laughs> Guys, I mean, this is all we talk about. I had a, um, I had a phone call the other, uh, the other day from a lady saying, um, hey, look, I've got somebody who wants to buy all three products. And, um, you know, I'm like, wow, well, that's, that's great. I said, well, what, what is it? And um, she was talking about how much money. She started adding up how much all three products were going to be. I said, well, I, I said, where are you getting that number? She said, well, I'm just doing the math out loud. You know, so she added up all the retail costs of our product which came to $263, okay? She's like, this is gonna be kinda of hard for me to do. And I said, did you know that your customer could get this product each and every month from the cost of anywhere from free to $150? So guys, there is a huge value on getting it, the three products that we've got for 150 bucks, but you've got to paint that picture in people's minds because they don't get it. So what I like to do, is do exactly what she called me with the intent of not intentionally doing, and I'll just start adding up the retail cost of those products. If you're showing retail versus what they can get as preferred customer cost, it's a pretty easy thing to sell. It's a pretty easy thing to get somebody on board with. So just know that, okay? So one bottle of night cream, a bottle of day cream, and a bottle of your uh, Narium Fern contouring cream for only $150. And that is a new ADO just as of a few months ago. Announcements, so the Holiday 10. So guys, um, this is the second year we've had these uh, since, that I can remember, and last year they were a huge success. So you're actually able to get um, you know, a bottle of your day cream, your night cream, and your Narium Firm, but they come beautifully packaged. Um, you're not having to figure out how to you know, get these and, and get them out to your people. You're simply ordering them, your customer's able to order them, and they make incredible gifts. So if you've got somebody that has kind of been on the fence on the business or the fence of becoming a customer um, or it's just somebody that you love, these make beautiful gifts. Not only are you able to expose them to what it, you know to our product, but you're able actually, in my opinion, able to expose them to how professional of a company we are. They're not just coming wrapped up in paper bags, they're coming in a beautiful pen, uh, holiday tent. So ready, set, glow. Order these by December 17th. For our Canadian brand partners and Mexico brand partners, we've got the exact same thing. So this was probably one of the hugest announcements that was made at our national conference in Long Beach. So for a while, we weren't able to get all of our products for free. I know I certainly wasn't. So when they launched that we're actually able to get our day cream, night cream, and our Narium firm for free by simply tripling what we actually have as our own auto ship order with, with customer orders, that's something we really got excited about. So basically, here's what that looks like. My auto ship that I have to remain an active brand partner at the time was just the day and the night cream. When this came out, I immediately went to my back office and upgraded it. Here's why. Because I knew that all I had to do was get three of my customers to do the same thing, which is not where I stopped. That's just where I began. I let them know that this had just came out, that they can now get all their products for free as well. Guys, you've got to start sitting down and playing with the calculator and doing the math on what this can do for your business. Auto ships are everything to our business. So it was shown to me. I showed it to people in my group who showed it to people in their group who showed it to people in their group. 
And almost instantly, volume just went like crazy because everybody wanted to upgrade their auto ship because they figured it out and learned in Long Beach that we can now get all three of those products for free. So, um, guys, it was it was a no-brainer, and li literally instantly overnight, volume just it was a, it was a pretty big spike. So just keep that in mind when it when something's announced and it may not seem like a real big deal to you. The company wouldn't announce it if it wasn't a big deal. So sit down and really kind of uh, think about it for a little bit. Go social. So does anybody ever feel like they're kind of out there on social media and, and they're just kind of fumbling around or maybe they're not saying the right thing? Yeah, no, me too. Or maybe they're doing too much. I, I've been, in, um, you know, I, I think maybe I do too much. Um, or you're just trying to think of that just picture perfect thing to say that's really just going to attract people. I think we all have that problem. Not many people raising their hands, but I think we've all kind of gone through that because none of us are social media pros. I mean, my 15 year old son, uh, <laughs> he is. Thank goodness he showed mom and I how to do it. But we don't have to be anymore, guys. The company's doing it for us. So all you have to do is subscribe to uh, to your uh, Nerium Go Social. And it's going to automatically post it, whether it be to your personal page, or if you you know want to set up your own Nerium uh, independent uh, brand partner Facebook business page, it's going to make the posts for you. So the company has somebody at home office that is a social media professional, and these posts are just going to be made to your page without you doing a thing. For free. For free. Thank you. So for all the Facebook dummies in the room, I'm the biggest. Just know that uh, that was their savior for us, and that's that's a really big deal. Looks very very professional, much much more professional than me trying to take a snapshot of, of the picture and not get it cropped and just look terrible on my Facebook page. How professional is that? Not very, but that's where I've been struggling the last two and a half years. The next step: documents. Once again, we didn't have these back in the day. <laughs> Guys, it's as simple as passing these out, asking which product do you want, which pack do you want. You know, I mean, for somebody like um, my wife and I, we're, we're both a great team, but we're both very different in how we uh, build a business. My wife um, is just as hair on fire excited about the product today as she was when we got started. So that's obviously what she's going to naturally speak more about. Um, myself, I'm more on the business side. My business mind kind of really got wound up whenever I learned about this opportunity. And that's what I feel more comfortable talking about. So when we're doing a real results party and everybody in this room is able to log into their back office, go to resources, go over to internal flyers, right? Okay. See, I don't, have to, I don't always have to look at it to get it. Go to internal flyers. You're actually able to print these off and uh, pass these out at your real results parties so you don't feel like that you have to be thunder closer. I hate the word close, the company hates the word close, but at the end of the day, we are in business to obtain customers and brand partners and show them how to do the same thing. So if we're able to actually just hand out these forms, pick your product, pick your party, or pick your pack, um, it's just right there for them. You're handing out forms and people are gonna naturally pick up the pen unless they're just absolutely not interested, which no one in this room understands that, right? No. So, but they're actually, oh, okay, so this is how I do it. This is normal. They just handed me a form, and I don't have to, you know, raise my hand and, and say how much I want to spend or how much I don't want to spend. They're actually able just to do it right there. So the, the process, if it were ever able to be made any simpler, they did it with these forms. Same with the opportunity. That's our plan. <clears throat> this is my new favorite form, guys. When this form came out, um, I made a post, or I didn't make a post, I sent out, I don't even know how many messages or how many phone calls that I made when this, when this 